Today I'm going to show you how I built the Copang chest of drawers from IKEA but first I wanted to invite you to view my most successful video on YouTube and it's about um, how my wife and I built the IKEA pack system and it's a time lapse so view it right here on this link without further ado uh, let's see how this is built and let's see what kind of tools are needed so this dresser is sold in two boxes part one and two uh, part two is a really light box it's about 33 pounds 15 kilos and it's not that heavy this box is very heavy 58 pound box and you will have to be a really strong person to lift it, it, it even for myself if it's it was a little heavy to lift. Is this damaged? What's going on in there? Let's see what kind of tools or whatnot are needed. Sometimes you don't need any tools at all. I'm pretty sure you're gonna uh, need, at least need a drill for this though. That's my guess. If you don't have a drill, you can use uh, screwdrivers. That's not an issue. So it looks like part one is the whole unit itself without the drawers. Part two are the drawers. Part one, the unit itself requires a hammer, a pencil, a drill, flathead, and a Phillips screwdriver. It says to build with two people. I'm a sad dude right now. That means you gotta put it on some sort of soft surface. If you're having any problems, call IKEA. This is very important. If you have any kids, you might want to screw this onto the wall because if the kids climb, it will fall on them. For the drawers, it looks like you only need the flathead and the Phillips screwdriver. With my experience of building IKEA stuff, I've had I have never had anything missing before. So over here it's asking for you not to over tighten these things. I'm going to use a, a drill for this, but I'm actually going to reduce uh, the torque on this so it slips. If you set the torque this on this too high, you're going to over screw onto your wood and anything that you over tighten on the IKEA products, you will damage. First two pages are done. Let's go on to the next page. Notice how these corners have these holes aligned. You want to pay very close attention to the right boards because you can easily mix up those two boards and you're gonna um, make a mistake and when you make a mistake uh, with IKEA furniture you often make in the last mistake because you have damaged the, the product or you may not be able to screw it in properly again but just pay attention to the corners with these locking tabs you don't need much pressure you don't need a drill so I'll be definitely using a uh, screwdriver for this I only use a screwdriver just to minimize the amount of uh, turning on my wrist which hurts a little bit
to pay close attention to these tracks and how they describe it in in the drawings. For example, on the end over here, it says it has an L there, L for left, and then R for right. Um, but I believe the other tracks, these other tracks are for the drawers themselves. And then uh, these ones here are for the units. At this point is where you want to anchor the furniture onto the wall. But we're not going to do that today because this, um, this unit is not going to be up against this wall. We don't know where we're going to put it yet. So this is why we needed a drill in the first place. It, it is to make a couple of holes on the wall. That way the anchoring, um, the anchoring uh, hardware can go into the wall. So more or less that's what it's supposed to look like in the wall. Looks like the drawers are the only thing that are that is left. It looks like you don't need any uh, fancy tools for this one.
before I show you the final product, I just want to ask if you found a little bit of value in this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you would like to subscribe, you can also subscribe. That would be great. Look at all this mess now. Who's going to clean this up? It won't be me. Oops. It was fun building this. The Copang dresser. I hope you guys have fun building yours as well. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, check out my other videos. I have a, uh, a really uh, a semi-viral video that um, my, wa my wife and I are building the IKEA pack system. It's got half a million views. Maybe you can help me get it to a million views.